what's up guys, I'm on your back some more Minecraft Survival Games with an SG5. Man, this map doesn't get played like ever, so it's kind of cool that I actually get to play it for once. Anyways, let's jump on down into corn, let's get this chest right here, unless someone else gets it. Let's actually just get this one, and this one right there, because no one took it. There we go, we got two corn chests, head out this way. Hopefully these guys don't take my stuff, and I think this is the one where if you jump in a specific spot you'll fall down. Oh, there we go, I made it over, because uh, I kind of, the snow is stuck, and then you hit, yeah, whatever. You, if you guys, if it happened to me, you guys would understand, but it didn't, so we're good. Anyways, let's head on out this way, I'm pretty sure there's a chest in this general direction. Um, so, cool news is, I got to recite my sonnet in English today, and it was really awesome, because I, I did totally owned it. I'm not really sure if I said it on video yet, but might as well say it again, because, you know, it's memorized in my brain, and I know Shakespeare stuff now. Like, watch this. My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, but, uh, <laughs> uh, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wise, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damask, red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes, there is more delight than in the breath that from which my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know, music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go, my mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven, I think my love is rare as any she bladed false compare. There you go, there's a song, I'm pretty sure I've recited it in another video, but I don't care, I'll recite it another time, because I'm super stoked at the fact that I completely destroyed- Oh, leave me alone, thank you, okay, bye completely destroyed this recitation in English class. I mean, it was awesome. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but hey, he gave me a little bit of a boost. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know where a chest is. Now, this map is so expansive and just boring in general. Um, if I could just manage to find a chest that has a weapon in it, I could probably turn my luck around. Ooh, maybe this one. Get out of here. This is mine. Is it? Oh, it's empty. Oh, there we go. Lag, Lagging up a storm right now. Look at that. Oh, there we go. It is empty. Um, oh man, I have no idea where chests are on this map. I'm totally 100% screwed. Oh well, continue on with my day. So you'll probably see, um, uh, or what do you call it, Rift Wednesdays after this. Um, uh, I haven't thought of any, uh, games to actually do in particular, like, you know, any Rift specified games. Um, so if you guys have any, like, games that you know, uh, work with the Oculus, uh, please tell me in the comments. Well, tell me in the comments of the Rift Wednesdays video, which should come out. Um, I think two hours from when this is posted, I'm not necessarily sure, 100%, there we go, got a weapon. But, yeah, um, so I mean, we're just gonna do an SG with it, uh, because, you know, it's nice and simple, and plus, you know, you guys love survival games, so might as well just do it with a Rift. But I know some of you guys don't like the Rift, so that's why we do the ordinary, uh, videos alongside the Rift Wednesdays that we, uh, also do. So there you go, you're welcome. <laughs> Alright, let's kill this guy, you're gonna die. Boom! The f oh, that was a good one, that was a good shot, and he's dead. Got his stuff, we can go back to corn and make ourselves, guess what, we can make ourselves a diamond sword. I'm really energetic right now. Uh, I got some, uh, like, I, my, my homework that I have to do this week, almost non-existent. The only thing I have to do after this is, like, math homework, and that's super easy. It's like 10 problems, and I'm feeling good right now. I really am. I uh, hope you guys are feeling good, too, and, you know, if you're not, it's okay, because I have a stomach ache right now, because we went over to, like, the 7-Eleven right before we came home. By the way, I'll, I'll talk about something in a second. Uh, is uh, we, we picked up some hot Cheetos and I kind of ate the entire bag in like five minutes and it, I, my stomach is starting to uh, catch on fire. And uh, it's catching fire like the new map that's going to come out soon. Ha ha ha, pun not intended. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> that's pretty much that. And boom. All right, let's do it. Let's see. Oh, wait, there's nothing in these chests. I'd probably just make a sword and then we can get out of here. Um, right. So the reason why I, I actually left the house today and I ended up going to 7-Eleven is because um, I can't actually do track uh, right now. By the way, I'm going to show you guys the thing. So you fall down right here. Wait, oh, you don't? Maybe it's in some other some other passageway. But uh, anyways, we, uh, we, were, we went to the doctors today because I was having issues with uh, my knee. Oh my goodness, there's some lag. It's like massive amounts of lag in here. Jeez, it's really bad. Okay, so uh, I, was, I was getting uh, issues with uh, my knee whenever I was running uh, track. So, uh, obviously, I took a break from track because, you know, my knee was killing me. And we went there uh, to the pediatric doctor, which, yeah, I still go to the pediatric doctor. If you guys don't know what a pediatric doctor is, it's basically the little kid doctor. Um, mostly because, you know, it's the cheapest thing and there's really no point in me going into the... I forgot the name of the other one. It's like... Cadillac, like it's, some, it's something that starts with a C. Um, but we didn't go to that one because, you know, whatever, right? And... Um, 
like I, I figured what was going to happen is we were going to go there. She was going to take the doctor was going to take a look at my knee, and then we were going to go. Um, you know, I was just going to get referred to get an X-ray because obviously the way insurance works is you need an X-ray before you get an MRI because probably the X-ray is going to show nothing either because it only hurts my knee only hurts when I'm running. Outside of that, it barely hurts at all, if anything. Um, so the way insurance works is you have to go go take an x-ray and then you got to do uh, after the x-ray you go back and then they schedule an MRI it's just a long tedious process that costs a lot of money and it's kind of stupid the way uh, that works like I've, I've realized that healthcare in America like in general it's just it's just what the hell what 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 is this what you can escape the map if you have an ender pearl you can get literally get underneath the map how do they not notice this how did no one notice this? What is that map down there? What is that? What is that down there? It looks like SG2 or something. Jeez. I, I want to get an Ender Pearl and figure out what that is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to come back on another time and I'll figure out what that is. Anyways, I, I've realized how screwed American healthcare is. Like, uh, so I'll, I'll take an example. So my um, my mom's like, you know, best friend is uh, his name's John. And he, he had, uh, he found out from the doctors that he had, uh, he got stomach cancer and you know stomach cancer is like this terrible thing uh well you know all cancer is really bad but uh stomach can cancer in, in itself is specifically bad because uh when you get it you basically lose the urge to eat uh well you don't necessarily l lose the urge to eat it's just whenever you eat you know you just vomit it straight back up because you know it's just you, it was bad and the thing was the treatment that it took like you know it was in america uh it costs expensive like massive amounts of money keep in mind john's this guy you know he makes what like over a hundred thousand dollars a year because he does uh, it's pretty much like nursing but it's for i think some type of like lung um stuff if, if you have cystic fibrosis uh he's like one of the nurses that helps you know with the treatment um which i'm pretty sure they just drain the lungs or something uh, i'm not necessarily sure not too familiar with cystic fibrosis but um so he had stomach cancer and you know he makes lots of lots of money and he still couldn't afford all this stuff and what ended up happening is he goes, you know, whatever the bill was in America, let's just say it was just like over $100,000 to get all this stuff done. Um, to, he goes over to his uh, family who lives in, uh, where do they live? They live, they, they don't live in Cuba. They live in, um, oh, I'm trying to remember the, the name of the country. They live in, oh, it's, uh, it's not Cuba. What the heck's wrong with me? It's the place where, every, where it's known for cocaine. And, yeah, they have a lot of, you know, coca plants. Uh Oh, what's the name of the country? I'm feeling so stupid right now. That's not Venezuela. It starts with a C, and I can't think of it right now. It's not. What is it? I, I'm I'm blanking out right now. I'm 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 super sad. Uh, whatever. Someone's gonna tell me in the comments. Um, they live there, where pretty much everywhere else in the entire pl like in the in the world really, um, besides America, the healthcare is free. Uh, you know, the the state pays for you, and it's really cheap. And so he goes over there and the treatment, he, by the way, when he was like in America, like he was like, he pretty much looked like he was dying at, like he was doing really bad. And, you know, he looked, was all skinny because he, you know, he couldn't eat. He just given up on eating and he goes to, um, he goes to, uh, wherever the country is. I can't even think of what it's called. What is wrong with me? Uh, man, I, I'm, I'm going to hate myself for not knowing the name of the country. It's on the tip of my tongue too. But, uh, uh anyways, he goes there. And, you know, his family lives there and they just, you know, they, they fix them all up. They make them all better. And he pays like nothing, like for all of the treatment he gets. And he comes back and he looks better than ever. And like, I remember my mom was telling me, cause you know, she works in the medical business. She does uh, medical bi billing and coding. And she tells me all this stuff about yeah how screwed American healthcare is. And it's just, it's sad really. Like the way, if you're like, you know, you could live in let's just say Cuba because you know Cuba has free health care you could live there and you know you'll ha you might have a bad life but you'll you know you'll you'll sure have health care and right now you know what I'm doing I'm gonna do I'm gonna get this iPad and I'm gonna figure out what the name of the country is because I'm really an annoyed with the fact that I can't figure out the name of the country give me a second guys <laughs> okay what's the name of the country what is the name of the country C country C um Country that starts <laughs> with C. I can't. I can't. I can't remember. I literally can't remember. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Colombia. Colombia. That's what it is. Yep. There we go. Hispa uh, 
family living in Colombia. <laughs> no, I, 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 gosh, I, I'm glad I remember that now. That was, that was gonna annoy me until I looked it up. I'm glad I did. Um, anyways, let's see. There's six people. Oh my goodness, I almost jumped off this cliff. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Ooh, look, look at how weird that is. Like, the, look how bad the anti-aliasing is right there. You can see all. If you guys don't know what anti-aliasing is, it's basically, um, if you were to make a diagonal on a piece of paper, you know, the diagonal is 100% true. Like, you can't see any pixels because, you know, there's no pixels in real life. Um, what happens is, you know, you can't make diagonals in computers because of the fact, you know, there's a bunch of uh, squares. You know, it's it's all pixels. And um, so what, what, what anti-aliasing is, like, is basically how good they can make it, how realistic they can make, uh, try, like, you know, diagonals uh, without it actually looking all choppy, how it kind of does on those buildings up there a little bit. And the way they do that is like they have the pencil pixel density. They'll have it, you know, if, if you have like a high-res uh, screen, it'll be super easy because you know it'll just fill in those pixel spots. But what what else they'll do is um, it'll you know different do different shades of the same color. And by that I mean like so like if you want to have like a red diagonal, it'll have like a lighter red next to you know the square the diagonals, and it just it makes it look better. And um, you know anti-aliasing is uh, something that's really awesome. Why am I talking about anti-aliasing? I'm probably really boring right now, but hey, we're, not, we're gonna stop talking about random stuff, or start talk, stop, t start talking about random stuff. Stop talking about specific stuff because I'm assuming people like it when I'm random and things. Okay, how much time is until the refill? We got 18.9 minutes. We should probably make our ways, make our ways, no, make our way back, w way back, you know, whatever, uh, to corn so we could go handle that. Um, Let's do this. Oh, by the way, something oh, super awesome announcement, guys. Super awesome, right? Um, the announcement is, all right, someone turned on the shower. I just realized that this entire video, guess what? Guess what? My microphone, look at that. It was right here. It, was, it wasn't in the proper spot because I totally forgot to bring it down. Good news is it's probably fine because I kind of turned it up a little bit. Um, if I sounded away from the microphone this time, oh well, I need to leave myself a mental note. Stop do doing the damn microphone in that one spot. But no, the actual thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is I got verified on YouTube. That means I get the little check mark next to my name. So if, uh, if you ever see someone claiming to be me, if they have a little check mark next to their name, hey, it's me. Um, at least, you know, on YouTube comments. And it's awesome. I got verified. It's, aw it's cool, all right? I'm all... It's it's all it's all thanks to you guys. I appreciate you so much. He's the coolest people on the planet. I swear. Oh look, see, yeah, you can't fall down, but apparently you don't do it anymore. Yep. See, look. whatever. But I'm I'm ho oh, man, I'm hoping it wasn't that bad uh, with the microphone away for so long. Whatever. Uh, we're going to death match anyway. Who cares? Who cares? We're fine. Okay, um, we are gonna kill these people. Let's just eat this golden apple. I'm gonna crack my feet because why not? Alright, let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that person just killed themselves. Okay, then. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna run around? Well, guess what? You're just gonna get some arrow shots. Boom. Boom. Going Katniss Everdeen status. Boom. Oh, that one almost hit. Whatever. Oh, man, that was good. Whatever. And we go here, and we just hit you with this. Come on, come at me. Boom! Okay, maybe one more shot. And, oh, you're not dead yet. You're not dead yet. Well, you're gonna be in a couple of seconds. Oh, there you go. You are dead. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of MCSG with Tomahawk. And hope you guys have a nice day, please. Brah!